Psalm 135, wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word, I put my hope. It is very important to take note of what David said. He is not waiting on, the Lord. But rather, his waiting for him, which requires a great deal of patience. Waiting on the Lord doesn't mean you are stagnant and inactive. God is always moving and orchestrating his plan. But it's crucial that you understand that God has his own time and moment for everything. However, the temptation to move forward without receiving his guidance and direction from him is great because of external pressures that are very real and stressful. But, you must recognize that God's time is the best time. Satan has many shortcuts to get it now. But they also have consequences that you must avoid at all costs. Waiting is very hard on the flesh and requires much patience of which all of us have very little. Waiting is not easy, but it is right. Remember that God is greater than all of the circumstances that may assail you. David even said that his soul was waiting. This indicates that his waiting was sincere. This takes having a deep conviction way down inside that refuses to take one of Satan's many shortcuts in order to get it now. This means you are actively pursuing him. You are still in motion, however, your direction is toward God, not the things that you are waiting for. You must decide not to act on any decision until the Lord gives you clear direction through his word. David goes on and says his hope was in the word of God. We must always remember that God keeps his word, you can count on that. This is what the psalmist's hope was built upon, namely, the word of God. If your hope is built on anything else but God and his word, then sadly, you are without hope. Remember, God has a plan for every stage of your life. Therefore, God desires that you remain connected to him through an intimate relationship. So it's essential that you listen to him and wait just as the psalmist had great expectations and hope. Anyone who keeps his eyes on the Lord, as the psalmist did, will always have hope. Just in case there may be someone watching this video who has never obeyed the gospel of Christ. You must take advantage of the sacrifice that Christ has made for you. You must willingly follow Peter's instructions in Acts 2.38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. As a result of your obedience to God, he will add you to his family which is his church. Acts 2.47, Praising God, and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Please, be sure to invest in yourself by liking all videos, and sharing all videos with everyone you know. And become a follower and or a subscriber. So until the next time, take care.